Hey, good morning. This is Chris Menard. Easy one this morning is in Microsoft Excel, I've got a list of customers. Who is in column A, the master list, that is not in column B? And a reason you might need to do this is I've got everyone in column A, but in column B we had a new platform or a new web portal or something, and the people in B have signed into it because we can track it. But who hasn't signed into it because maybe I need to reach out to them. So this is, I'm going to do this with absolutely no formulas. This is actually pretty easy. I'm going to simply highlight. I didn't pick up the header row. I'm going to go home tab. I'm going to use conditional formatting to highlight the duplicate values. So duplicate values. So I know there's nobody in B that's not in A. So everyone in column B should get selected in this example for sure. Perfect. I don't care what background color you use. It's up to you. I'm going to hit OK. So everything that's duplicated is selected and I knew everyone in B would get highlighted. So my answer actually is the four people in column A that aren't selected. But I want to get it down to just those four. I could sort this, but I want to show you another important point in Excel that people forget. I'm going to use filters. Data, filter. My header row has drop downs. I actually don't even care about column B. I'm going to filter by column A. I want to point out that row 16 has the last customer in it. So I'm going to go and hit the drop down, filter by color. Excel allows you to filter or sort by one color. If you need to filter or sort by multiple colors, I have a video on how to do that. But by default, you can only do one. But we're perfect right here. When you filter, the rows turn blue. Notice two, three, four, five is missing, seven is missing, 12 is missing, and so is 15. Those are hidden rows in my filter. And the important point I want to stress is I think a lot of people forget when you're filtering in Excel, you can delete. It'll only delete what's visible. So I selected row two, down to row 16, a right click, delete. Now it looks like I deleted everything, but I didn't. Remember the filter in A1 is still running, so just turn it off. Column A has my four unique sorry, four clients or customers that have not signed up for the web portal. There you go. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Thank you.